everybody, this is Sierra Corbin from Eugene Speech Therapy and I wanted to just send out a quick PSA when it comes to speech therapy and Parkinson's disease. I actually see a lot of people in my practice with Parkinson's disease and I wanted to give you um, a little bit of information on the speech changes that happen with Parkinson's and what we work on in speech therapy. So to get started, some of the changes that you'll experience if you have Parkinson's disease in terms of your communication are a decreased breath support, change in vocal quality, that can be a gravelly or hoarse or harsh voice. You can experience mumbled speech where the rate may be more rapid, you're speaking quicker and smaller. You can also experience a decrease in volume and that's a real, um, that's a big one that people will notice. So the reason that this is happening is when the dopamine cells die, they're no longer to create the dopamine that is responsible for automatic motor movement. So what we're learning is that when we switch over to the system for um, intentional motor movement, we see improvements. Now, the muscles are getting weak, just like the rest of your body. That's why um, all of your other movements become smaller as well. Well, the muscles become weak because they're not being used. Therefore, we can use them again to strengthen them up. They're not getting weak because of the Parkinson's directly. So that gives us hope. And that means that with practice and strength training, you can actually improve. Even though Parkinson's and other progressive diseases are degenerative and over time, things will progress, but your communication and your swallowing can actually improve and maintain. So how do you do that? <laughs> well, you get in touch with a speech therapist or a speech language pathologist, it's the same thing, and you say, I have Parkinson's, I wanna work on this. There are um, two primary speech therapies um, that people know of, and that is LSVT, Lee Silverman Voice Treatment, and the newer one is called Speak Out. And they're similar, but they have some differences. They're both intensive therapies though, that are meant to improve your intelligibility and your loudness. And the goal of that is to get you participating and, and um, communicating in conversations again. So in these therapies, you're doing usually a hierarchy approach where you strengthen the voice with things like sustained phonation, holding ah really loud and strong and with gusto and going all the way up to conversation. And with the speak out training, you also are doing cognitive exercises, which is pretty cool. If you uh, are toward the beginning of your diagnosis, and this is very important, so if you've just been diagnosed or you're just now seeing a little bit of voice or speech changes, it's absolutely critical to go find a speech therapist because even if you don't qualify for the more intensive therapies, there are other more traditional therapies that you can do to help your voice. And here's the key. You wanna learn how to change these habits right away so that you can use them later when you've progressed. When you've progressed, it's much more challenging to relearn the motor habits. So you wanna do that actually as soon as possible. And this is also important for physicians to know that the second someone sees changes with their speech or voice to send the referral right away so that you can get the therapy going. And also speech therapy for Parkinson's and other progressive diseases is not a one-time deal. It's not, oh, you did this four weeks and you drop off and now you're done, have a good life. It's therapy for life. And I know um, both of the programs have maintenance programs, the Speak Out program, it's integrated. So every single person who graduates from Speak Out goes to the weekly loud crowd group and you come back for refreshers and you're always maintaining your good strong speech. So good luck out there if you have Parkinson's disease or if you know someone who has Parkinson's, share this video with them, let them know that they can get help. Thank you so much, bye-bye.